talk about not losing your cool. What, when were you closest? Uh, the first time I got shot at, for sure. The first time I got shot at. I remember it like it was nobody's business. And I, I kind of almost did lose my cool, um, but I didn't actually lose my cool, but I, I did lose my cool. Uh, my first team leader, we were there. The robot was not able to do anything with this job. We realized that very early on, but he kept insisting to use the robot. And me and my other team member, we just, we kept saying, this is not going to work. We cannot get this done with the robot. We need hands on this device. There's no other way we're going to be able to do this. So now we've been sitting there for 45 minutes on one IED. It's already a long period of time. Security is already getting anxious, but he's like, all right, fine. I'm going to get in the bomb suit and I'm going to walk down. So I dress him out in the bomb suit. That's my job as a team member, dress him out in the bomb suit. So I used to always have my M4 clipped right here. I had a, a D-ring and an M4 clip to it, you know, with a, with a little bit of a bungee to it. So I was able to, to you know, pop it up if I need to. But for the built, dressing him out in the bomb suit, I unclipped it because it was just flopping around there and getting in the way. So I unclipped it, I set it inside the truck, and I start dressing my team leader out in the bomb suit. As soon as he is fully dressed out in the bomb suit, helmet on, all connected, ready to go, ready to walk down, the ground starts asphalt starts chipping up around us we're like what the and we realize we're getting shot at right so i run behind the side of the vehicle together with my team leader and we were off the back of the vehicle is where i put my 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 weapon so i don't have that with me now all i have is a pistol <laughs> a pistol and they're shooting at us from a ways away he has no weapon either because he just got dressed out in the bomb suit right there was a lieutenant from the engineer team that was with us as security standing with us. He was the only one with a weapon. And he was just standing behind the vehicle with us, not, not laying down any kind of cover fire yet. Um, and I, I yelled at him. In the end, he still didn't give us any cover fire, but we had a, a Czech guy who wanted to come with us on mission. He hopped up in the turret of our truck, started laying down cover fire. I ran back. I got both of our weapons I, I need to find this picture, but my, my team leader is, is posted up on one side of the truck in the bomb suit, laying down cover fire. I'm on the other side of the truck, laying down cover fire. That was the first time I was like, oh shit. More than taking like incoming, like this is my oh shit moment. Almost lost my cool, especially because I didn't have my weapon. Probably the closest example that I could even bring up to being comparable to the first time bullets are flying around you. I got into a car accident um, with my kid in the back seat of the car. I hit somebody dead on, but it's because he cut in front of me, but I was, I was on the phone on speaker, not actually on the phone. Like I wasn't doing anything completely unsafe, but hit dead on, destroyed the entire front of the car. I was actually on the phone with my mom said, mom, just got into a full blown car accident. I got to go get my kid out of the back seat. We got to step away from the car here and talk this out. That was the reaction of this sequence of how I handled that car accident. Like that, it wasn't like a, like a, like a screaming. It was, it was there might've been like an, oh shit, you know, like, oh shit. Cause I saw it coming. Like I saw the car accident coming. Cause I, I hit him dead on. He pulled out in front of me. I saw it coming. All I could do was slam my brakes and hope to minimize the impact at that point. But it was like, yep, got into a car accident. I'll talk to you later. Got my kid out of the back seat, called my wife up. She did not have that same reaction just hearing about the car accident because, I mean, that's, that's you know, we have different mentalities and I don't blame her for that at all. I ended up getting out, having a chit chat with the guy who I hit. And then I, my, my son was, my son was screaming. Thankfully, this other soldier who I happened to hit another soldier, um, he, when the cops showed up, like I was trying to, to calm my kid down. My wife wasn't there yet. You know, I was trying to take pictures, do all that stuff. He went and spoke to the police officer and was like, yep, it's on me. <laughs> you know, this is what happened. Pulled out in front of him. He was, he was a good guy about it. But honestly, it, it, you know, there could be multiple different ways to handle that. I was not the breakdown and, and not be able to handle the entire situation type of guy. So.